Hi, I'm Amy from East Bears, and in this video I'll be showing you how to remove and refit the doors and door hinges on a Samsung American style fridge freezer. Whether you're removing the doors due to damage or you need to remove them to move your fridge freezer from one place to another, this step-by-step -step guide will help you do that. Before you start, make sure your fridge freezer is fully disconnected from the mains power. Speaking of safety, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video where we'll link another video on important safety checks to do on your fridge freezer. To remove the doors, you're going to need these tools. A Phillips screwdriver, a small flat blade screwdriver, a 4mm Allen key, a 10mm spanner or ratchet, and a 12mm spanner. So let's begin by removing the freezer door. And to start with, you're going to want to remove all of the furniture from inside the door, as well as the ice hopper. Next, once you've removed the plinth with the three screws, you can disconnect the two water pipes. So remove the pipes from the cradle. Then you can press the coupler and pull the water pipe away like so. Before carrying out the next step, we recommend closing the doors first. Undo the screw that's holding the hinge cover. Then you can carefully lift and turn over the cover to unplug the sensor plug. You can do this using a small flat blade screwdriver. Then you can remove the cover completely, doing so in the direction that it says to on top. Then you can unscrew the earth cable here. And again, using a small flat blade screwdriver, you can disconnect the plug. And pull this one away too. To fully remove the top hinge, you'll need to remove the three 10 millimeter bolts keeping it in place with either your spanner or ratchet. Next, we can remove the door by carefully lifting it straight up so that you don't bend or damage the hinges. You'll also be careful where you put the door afterwards so that you don't damage it for the next step. Finally, we can remove the lower hinge bracket by removing the three 10 millimeter bolts using a ratchet. Now we can remove the fridge door, but before we do so, it's important to remove all of the furniture first. It's also important to make sure that you shut the fridge door again before removing the hinge. So first, remove the hinge screw. Then we can turn the hinge cover over and unclip the sensor from the underside of the hinge cover. Then remove the two plugs using a small flat blade screwdriver. You can now remove the hinge cover and take off the upper hinge by removing the three 10 millimeter bolts with your ratchet. Once the bolts are out, you can lift the hinge away from the door. So we can now lift the door away and carefully put it down on a protected surface to avoid it getting damaged or scratched. So we can now lift out the bottom hinge and remove the chassis bracket by removing the three 10 millimeter bolts with a ratchet. Now that the doors have been removed, your appliance can now be transported through most standard doorways. It's also a good idea to give your appliance a clean, so you can check out our video up here which will explain how to clean your fridge freezer in just seven simple steps. But now let's get started refitting the doors and let's start with the fridge door. The first thing to do is to fit the chassis bracket using the three 10 mm bolts. And 
You can then insert the lower hinge back into the chassis bracket. Then fit the hole in the corner of the fridge door over the hinge. Insert the upper hinge shaft into the hole on the hinge and make sure that the hinge is level between the upper holes and the hole of the top of the cabinet. You can then refit the hinge screws. You can now reconnect the two plugs. and clip in the sensor. Then once those are in, you can secure the hinge cover with the screw. Now that we've refitted the fridge door, it's time to move on to the freezer door. The first thing to do is to refit the chassis bracket using the three 10 millimeter bolts. Then you can insert the lower hinge back into the chassis bracket. With the door closed, you can proceed to line up the top hinge and secure it with the three 10 mm bolts. You can now refit the earth screw. and reconnect the white and yellow plugs. As well as the clip-in sensor. Once those are in, you can secure the hinge cover with the screw. Before you refit the plinth, make sure to check the water connectors for any leakages. The next thing to do is to refit all of the door furniture. Now for a few finishing touches. Now that the doors are back in place, it's important to make sure that your fridge is level. If it's not level, then it won't be possible to get the doors perfectly even. To do this, just insert a flat blade screwdriver into the notch on the foot and turn it until you're happy. Now that the fridge itself is level, you might need to adjust the doors too to get them even. The process of adjusting each door is the same. Unscrew the locking nut from the lower hinge when you release the nut, make sure that you use an Allen key to loosen the adjuster. Then adjust the height difference between the doors by turning the adjuster with the Allen key. And after adjusting the doors, turn the locking nut clockwise until it reaches tight. If you don't secure the nut firmly, the bolt may release. And there you have it, how to remove and refit the doors on your Samsung American Style Fridge Freezer. Also, as promised, here's our video on important safety checks for your fridge freezer. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for plenty of fixing and maintenance videos for your household and garden appliances. Thanks for watching.